Does Love Island have a budget for security? Are the police on standby? Is the fire department fully stocked? Because let me tell you, it's all coming down. Hello everybody, welcome to Taste Reality. My name is Queenie, for those who don't know me, and we're reviewing Love Island Season 3, Episode 15. Y'all know I'm always on the verge of laughing when it comes to Kira, and I feel so bad because it has nothing to do with Kira. I don't mean to laugh at her at all. However, the situation is just so funny to me. It's just so funny. I hope she's going to be okay. I hope that she'll actually be able to mend from this because even if Will does not pick Cheeks Child, the fallout is going to be crazy. Before I get into this review, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and let's talk about it. Yo, Purple is that girl. She... <laughs> Purple is making her rounds. I did not expect that. I thought for sure like Miley or something like that, but Purple's killing it. She is trying to convince Josh to open up a little bit more. I want to have fun with you guys, but at the same time, I'm trying not to do something that you're going to regret. Exactly. And like, it took me a while to get to the point that I'm at right now with mm -hmm. Shannon. Honestly, I'm cool with them getting back together. I think that they have a good vibe as long as they just stop with the juvenile talk. Like, if y'all are really serious about each other, let's let's move on from the petty stuff. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, as long as they don't win. I'm okay with them being together. I'm okay with second or third. Winning? No, no, no thank you. Kira thinks that it's impossible for Will to find a connection as strong as the one that they have together. Problem is, somebody forgot to tell Will. That was a nice zoo. You don't make me crazy. He said he doesn't feel guilty and it's more so a pressure. And I can see that. I can definitely see that because we were calling it from time. Well, some of us, some of y'all really want them to be together, but I could just sense something wasn't all the way there. And it does make sense when he says it's not guilt, it's pressure. He's so afraid of hurting this girl's feelings that he just kind of accepted fate with her. And now that, now that there is a viable option that truly has him intrigued it's more so a balance of do I hurt this girl's feelings or do I just keep it going because it's not like things are bad with her right it's not a battle of who do I like more because I I actually feel like he likes um, cheeks more but it's that fear it's that fear of what could happen to Kira if her heart is broken also keep in mind they live close to each other even after the show is done there's a possible not possibility we know they're going to run into each other because they already know each other, allegedly. So he's got to think about that, too. Like, if things don't work out, like, I could run into her friends in the street. I could run into her in the street. Like, I will never live it down. But I say <laughs> chaos is always my first option. So, well, pick cheeks. What happened to Miley? I... She was there, she was going in hard, and then she just disappeared. Purple is seen having like a late night rendezvous with Corey, and this girl is making her rounds, and it is working. Nothing was sexual. We didn't kiss or anything. Like, that didn't even cross my mind. But that's definitely like who I'm vibing with the most out of everyone here. Problem with Corey. It's really hard for me to vouch for somebody who has no game. His swagger is in the negatives. Like, I want so badly for you to find a connection, but your sauce does not exist. He just, he's such a passive pursuer and that's okay. Not everybody is life of the party. Not everybody is like a gung-ho, I go for what I want, da-da-da, whatever. But at least when something is available to you, also avail yourself he, he he's not trying <laughs> he's just he's not trying and okay it's it's fine i know that's his personality 
definitely he should keep that. But don't be surprised at the failure after failure after failure because you're not really giving much for these women to work with. Trina and Cash talk about the single situation and they're both tired of Cinco having all the power. I don't know what to do with this man. I am really fed up and tired of having a man decide what he wants, you know? Right. Agreed. Agreed. It just dawned on me yesterday. I knew it, but the epiphany like really hit me that he has not had to work. Even now with his connection with Purple, he has not had to work for it. She's kind of just throwing herself at him. And then Kay was throwing herself at him too. And I'm just like, wow, like I get it. Don't get me wrong. Like, mm. Mm -mm -mm. but no, no. The good thing is Cash is going strong with wheels. Trina, Trina had a date. I haven't seen the drop yet, and I know she had a date with Urkel. Um, she had a date with him, but she was just talking about Cinco, it seems like. Again, haven't seen the whole thing, but from what they showed in this episode, it was just like no energy, no vibes. She doesn't seem to be open to anybody else. I mean, in their defense, they don't really seem to be open to her either, but I think it's because she's so closed off. She's just so focused on him, and like, I feel like we had a breakthrough a little bit when she was sharing her frustrations about him and then goes back to crying. I'm just so scared to hear what's gonna come out of his mouth. Cause I just know if it's not gonna be me, I, I'm just gonna be so hurt. Oh God. Well, cry, well cr 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 crying, Chris still cannot find these tears. Still cannot see them. Olivia and Cam talk about where they're at. I got to kind of weigh my options, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I really like you. I think you're awesome and you're good peeps. And Thank also you. you are very Thank cute you. and attractive. Thank you. And I feel like you are bold and you go for me. I had to do that. This is not gonna last. I don't know what options Olivia thinks she has to weigh, but girl, this is your only chance at anything because nobody else is interested. And I don't think anybody coming in is going to be interested. Maybe off of appearance, for sure, she's beautiful. Y'all remember the very first video I said, Olivia is one of my top picks in terms of like a stunning woman. But the personality is like, it's a niche personality and it takes a certain kind of guy. I did not expect Cam to be that kind of guy. And I don't think he is. In my opinion, I think this is a plaything situation. And honestly, that's fine. You know why that's fine? Because I want Cam to come back into the villa. I feel like there's some there's something brewing under the surface with Cam and I just need him to come into the villa to have him come into his full form, okay? So yeah, Olivia, have your hot girl summer. Have your Stella got her groove back and uh, bring Cam back. Wheels takes it upon himself to reassure Cash that his intention is to make her his priority. Do you think that you would feel like strong enough while I figure out what's going on with him? I'm secure enough within myself. I know what I bring to the table. I know how good of a person I am. I know how I can make you feel. I'm not really worried about what the next man is doing. He has grown. It is full fungus on my back. He has grown on me like bacteria, child. I Yeah, I'm with it. I am with it. 99%. 99%. That 1% is still like... But 99% and the 1% isn't even because of him. It's because of Cinco because in my mind I'm still like well, man, I don't know why 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 girl let him go damn But yeah, I'm really feeling these two's connection um, I think it's very telling the fact that she's afraid of hurting his feelings above anybody else's and I'm like girl that that should tell you where your heart is at I understand that it was very like a very unopportune time to leave because things were left uh, open-ended with Cinco. But girl, the vibes here, I feel them. I feel them. I feel them a lot. He is grown. He is successful. He is very into you. He is attractive. I don't see why you wouldn't go for it, baby. Okay, so focus, focus. Charlie is the one for now. Cinco is back to his sexual attraction talk. And you know what? Throw, throw him out now. Throw him out. Throw him out. After, after Cash comes back and then they have a conversation, then throw him out because I'm done. How are you going to fall for the same foolishness again? 
again. Men. Yo, men just lead with their Johnson. And it's like, is that all you live for in life? Grown as you are, that's all you need? Goodness sakes, no wonder why y'all be cheating. Y'all just leave with your dick. Oh, <laughs> not me getting loose. Y'all just leave with your peen. Like, damn, whatever. Honestly, the 1% is like dwindling every day. But it's still there, not gonna lie to you. However, like I said yesterday, I need to see more from him because he is giving us nothing. Therefore, he's proving that he is worth, no, don't say that. His place here is fleeting is what I wanna say. That's the more politically correct thing to say right now. Tomorrow night is the recoupling. Just have security on standby. Just have it on standby. Just have it on standby because we're going to see a different side of Kira. A different side of Kira. And I'm ready. I want her to unleash the beast. This whole kumbaya, drinking shakes, meditating and all that, mm-mm, is to keep her calm. Give me the fire, sis. Give me some action. And honestly, Love Island USA doesn't have that element. And that's what I like about Love Island UK them people don't care okay you remember amber mora um uh what's her name what's her name what's her name what's her name amber's best friend dang what's her name anna them heifers said oh release the clip and that's what love island usa needs and i'm hoping to god we get a little bit of that i'm just hoping to god this kumbaya bs no tired as always please make sure to like comment share and subscribe and we will reconvene tomorrow to see what kind of mess is about to ensue you better be there